Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I shall be with IK. Hope you're all doing good. So today's video will be on the uh, content that we have uh, in our channel, and uh, I'm going to show you the sequence of uh, on how to uh, view these videos and the sequence of topics uh, in how they have been uploaded, and also the playlist uh, how you can access the playlist in the channel and then uh, navigate to your uh, related topics uh, so that you can have a better visibility uh, on the videos that have been uh, posted in this channel so i get uh, i keep on getting like several emails uh, from uh, our subscribers that they basically want to have uh, a video on the on a specific topic that is already uploaded in the channel so uh, i have observed uh, from most of this uh, those emails that the users are not able to you know uh, utilize the content that is already uploaded in the channel so here we'll discuss on how to access those videos and uh, uh, how flexible uh, were those videos provided uh, in the channel so once you log into my uh, channel uh, sap with ik so th there you will see those these uh, four categories uh, home videos playlist and then community so if you click on the tab uh, the playlist uh, so there you can see the playlist that I have created for each and every topic, right? And you also can see the count of the videos that we have uh, uh, in this particular topic. So let's say we talk about the variant configuration. So you can see that there are three videos that relates to the variant configuration. And similarly for the quality management, we have four videos. And then coming to the production execution, there are around uh, 27 videos uh, as part of this particular playlist. So based on the topic that you need uh, in the uh, module, so then you can directly navigate into, into the playlist. And uh, you also will find a few integration scenarios not specific to the uh, uh, particular topic that has been mentioned over here. Let's say, for example, you see here as the MD04. So there are eight videos, right? So all these eight videos, they basically uh, some way are integrated with uh, the use of uh, MD04. So each and every video uh, it has been detailed uh, on uh, how to use MD04 and what scenarios uh, we use MD04 and uh, what are the simplifications that we have uh, in MD04, right? So it is better to uh, look at the uh, your topic and then uh, switch to this particular playlist and have a look at the videos uploaded over there, okay? Uh, in the same way for the production configuration, uh, the production planning configuration setup, there are around 13 videos related to this topic. So uh, few of them are completely uh, dedicated to the configuration setup. Uh, and also uh, there are few topics that are uh, associated or maybe interlinked uh, with to the production planning configuration setup, right? So the same way you have it for the master data as well uh, related to the production planning. Okay, and then we have it for MRP, the materials requirement planning. So you try to explore these uh, playlists and then you can find the relevant topic uh, that you're looking for. But even in case uh, you're not able to find the topic uh, that you're actually looking for, uh, so then please uh, send me an uh, email like you do always. Or uh, you also can post a comment uh, under the specific topic or maybe the latest video so that I'll get a notification and then we can discuss further on that. So now coming to the uh, sequence on how to uh, look at these playlists and what topics uh, should be first read. So uh, I get um, more emails uh, from users uh, or maybe consultants uh, who might be new to the PP module or maybe they are new to SAP. So then uh, for them, I've actually created this slide that details uh, or may be useful for you to uh, follow this particular sequence so that you can have a better understanding of this uh, module. So to start with, uh, we will have to uh, take a look at the playlist for the PP Master Data right? because the first thing when you uh, go to uh, or maybe switch a particular module, so to understand the concepts of uh, uh, that particular uh, module, you basically need to have an uh, overview of the master data setup right so if you are already uh, in the sap domain and uh, maybe from a different module uh, so now you would like to learn the production planning module so first thing is that if you uh, take a look at the master data you will uh, sync most of the master data that you have uh, actually uh, come across uh, during your uh, experience right so that basically helps you to understand what all master data are basically categorized as uh, 
related to the production planning module. So once we uh, get some overview of the master data, then I think you can jump on to the planning strategies Why? because these strategies are also part of uh, the master data maintenance and also they cover uh, an uh, overview of the business process uh, on how it works by using several strategy groups, right? We have several strategies in the uh, MRP3 view of the material master. So there are like around uh, eight videos posted on this particular uh, area of the planning strategy. So then you can uh, take a look and uh, try to uh, get an overview on how uh, these processes um, basically work. So once you have some uh, overview on the master data and also the business process pertaining to the planning strategy, then I guess you can move on to the uh, materials requirement planning. And that is where you will come to know uh, how the planning works and what are the settings uh, that we'll have to manage in order to execute a proper MRP, right? So, I mean, the MRP, you know, that it basically works based on your planning strategies and also your mass data settings, right? So, that's the reason I, I had to put this in the third place. So, once you're uh, done with the MRP, then you can move on to the MD04. That is where we basically uh, e evaluate the results uh, or the output of the MRP uh, run, right? And uh, after the MD04, uh, you can start with the lot size. Uh, let's say, uh, the fixed lot size or the uh, lot for lot uh, order quantity so you can have an uh, understanding on the safety stocks or the lot size how they are managed why because the mrps and the master data are already uh, covered uh, in the earlier sequence so now you can uh, move directly to the uh, lot sizing concept along with the safety stock planning and then uh, to the batch management and after that you can go into the production execution so if you directly switch to the production execution without the prerequisites, uh, I mean, without the, uh, you know, the preceding topics uh, such as the MRP, the planning strategy or the uh, uh, master data related to the production planning or the safety stock. So the production execution, uh, it would be uh, quite complex for you to understand. I mean, this is basically a, a statement who is basically new to this uh, module uh, the production planning module but if you're already familiar uh, already familiar with uh, the concepts of uh, the production planning and mrp then you can very well uh, come to this uh, section or the playlist directly and uh, after the production execution you can uh, take a look at the quality management playlist where we have around uh, four videos uh, so each of them will talk about uh, talks about you know uh, a particular inspection lot and also the master data uh, settings that we need uh, to enable or maybe run the quality management uh, scenario so once you are familiar with the production execution process the quality management the master data the business scenario with the planning strategies and also the mrp then you can take a look at the configuration setup so once you go through these sequences uh, that is where uh, you will have an uh, idea on how these processes run so then it would be easy for you to understand the configuration so which makes uh, an impact while changing the configuration and what scenario it basically uh, creates an effect on right so if you directly come to the configuration setup you really don't know what field stands for uh, what uh, scenario or what purpose right so that's the reason I had to put this uh, uh, at the last, uh, you know, uh, last sequence for the configuration setup. And then the simplification, uh, once you're aware of the configuration setup uh, for the PP module, then you can take a look at the simplification items. This is basically to compare uh, the features that we had in uh, ECC and uh, what features are provided in the S4HANA, which is the advanced version of SAP right now. And after that, you can uh, go to the variant configuration. So variant configuration, it is basically independent. Uh, so I don't think it has uh, I mean, uh, an integration uh, with either of these processes that I mentioned over here, but it is completely a make to order scenario. So, uh, so whoever is basically interested to have an idea on the variant configuration, you can uh, take a look at the playlist. Uh, so here we have like around uh, three videos posted in this. And the next part is that uh, so for each and every video that I upload, uh, so under the description, you see uh, this particular uh, option to click on, right? With uh, the more, 
So this is an example of the uh, SAP capacity planning and leveling. So let's say you have actually gone through the video and now you would like to explore more topics uh, around the production planning. So if you just click on this more under the description of this video, uh, so you will find the links, uh, the direct links to these topics. So let's say you would like to have a look at uh, the make to order process uh, with the end to end scenario, or maybe you would like to understand the repetitive manufacturing scenario or you would like to take a look at the schedule margin key so you just need to click on this link uh, it directly opens uh, opens up the uh, topic or the video uh, that has been uh, linked uh, to this particular topic okay so uh, please utilize these options uh, so that you can explore more and more uh, concepts that we have uh, already uh, av made available uh, in this uh, channel so this is what I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, thanks for your time. Take care.